Hello everyone, this is a multi-series video as for Microsoft Graph Explorer. My name is Aichabash, I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. Today with me, Rabia and Petra Rose, and let's quickly introduce ourselves, starting with you, Rabia. Hey everyone, I'm Rabia and I'm a cloud advocate like HR for Microsoft 365. Uh, it's your turn now, Betty. Okay, so my name is Betty Rose Ngoge. I am a PM in the Graph DevX team. Awesome. So before we jump into talking about uh, Microsoft Graph Explorer, as we all know, um, every graph call requires an authentication. The first step for us is always authentication. Rabia, can you tell us uh, quickly what is authentication, why we need that? Well, uh, you're accessing Microsoft 365 data and you cannot just access something, right? You need to securely access data. Any application that uses data from Microsoft 365 need to be authenticated so that it can be securely um, calling, uh, getting the data back to the application. For that case, we need the process. And who better to explain this whole process other than Betty? <laughs> Okay, so one of the things um, we require when we are working with Graph is permissions. And the reason why we require permissions is because you need to give the application the right to access your data. And that's why we need permissions. Permissions allow you and the application to allow the application to get permission from you to access your data because data needs to be very secure. And I'm going to show you um, how you authenticate in Graph Explorer and also how you consent to permissions in Graph Explorer. Amazing. Okay, so this is Graph Explorer. Um, when you load it, this is how it looks like. Um, and on the screen, we have the link uh, to access in Graph Explorer. So if you click on the sign in button, um, it's going, we use a library called MSAL and it's going to call MSAL um, and request for your credentials to log in. So I'm going to log in as Megan and that's my password. MSAL handles all the authentication and now I will be logged in as Megan. Okay, let's run the query. Okay, and so you see the responses here is Megan specific information because I am logged in as Megan. So suppose Megan would want to consent to some permissions, you come to modify permissions tab and you can see most of the permissions for this query are already consented. So we are going to look for another one that doesn't have all the permissions consented so that I can show you the consent process. Right. So um, you can consent uh, from your side as a user, but there's also something that I can see here is uh, something that requires admin consent. So are these two different things? Okay. So some permissions, uh, some permissions require admin consent, which means the admin of the tenant that you're logged in as has to give you permission to allow an application to access your data. And the reason for this such kind of security is because um, some permissions may have a huge effect on the tenant data. Imagine you got rights to go and delete another user in the same tenant, which means one of your colleagues is going to try and log in and not be able to log in. And so only an admin can give you permission to access such kind of uh, rights. And that's why we have them. Some of them are actually admin they require admin consent so we have one here that is not consented so i'm going to try and consent to it so it requires admin consent let's see if megan has permission to actually consent to it right so even in this process we actually use msal as well which is the microsoft authentication library and so it will ask me if I want to give Graph Explorer permission to read and write application, view basic information and maintain data that you have given it access to. And I want to accept. So what happens when you check that checkbox that I saw earlier where you want to consent on behalf of an organization? What does that mean? It means if I check 
that box, everyone in the organization will have an opportunity to access that permission and consent for themselves. Yeah, it's actually changed to consented. So for managing our permissions, we don't have to go anywhere else and we can manage everything in Graph Explorer directly. Correct. Okay. I guess uh, awesome. one point. Um, I guess one point we also need to raise is that uh, in Graph there are two types of permissions. So there is delegated permissions and applications permissions. And in Graph Explorer, it uses delegated permissions. And um, basically, what it means is you need a user to log in and do these permission consents. And for an application permission, you don't. But if you want to learn more, I think HA, you have the link. Um, that we all can go to and start learning about Microsoft Graph. So it is aka.ms slash learn hyphen graph. Yes, Correct. exactly. So if you want to discover more about Microsoft Graph and if you want to see how you can get started with Microsoft Graph Explorer, go check out Microsoft Graph Fundamentals Learn Path and then uh, you will start practicing hands-on during this Learn Path too. All right. So... That's great. Thank you so much, Betty and Rabia. And thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.